Hello everybody, my name is Ruby Kings and welcome back to Earthbound. In the last episode, we defeated Frank, the leader of the sharks, and freed the townspeople of Onit. Uh, quote unquote freed them, not really, but I mean, they weren't really in danger too much. They were just a local gang taking over the arcade and yeah, now everyone's free to play some Space Cadets uh, pinball. But now that we defeated the sharks, now we have access to go talk to the mayor because, you know, they were a pretty big deal. So, let's go in here and try to go talk to everyone here. There are lots of snakes and stray dogs around on it. Is the mayor going to let them just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. Alright, yeah, he's concerned about that. So yeah, he's like every, you know, person you have in your, like, town likes to complain about things. I'm really in a foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. <laughs> I think I'll just kick back for a while. It just may take me a couple hours to sign his paper. <laughs> wow, what a dickwad. Oh, aren't you Ness? Is it a school holiday today? Have you done your homework? Remember to brush your teeth before going to bed. Have you been wetting your bed? <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that, son. I All right, so we got some more people here. Some suspicious-looking kids were hanging out in the woods north of Lovebury. I wanted the members of the Sharks to stop spreading the gang so much to shut down the gathering places. Don't you think? I started a movement that would stop all the bad influences on the children of Onan. I call it the Fresh Breeze Movement. I don't need them, need them. Oh, okay. Did I tell you I saw a giant app one time at Giant Step? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to spoil it for you. Well, okay, I guess we we know what's coming up. I work for City Hall, but somehow Mayor Purple bugs me. Let's keep this between you and me. Yeah, so I can see there's a bunch of, like, disgruntled employees here. <laughs> we don't have any part-time jobs open. Okay, buddy. Uh, I guess the people don't really like Mayor Purple here. Uh, he must be kind of a sleazy guy, I guess. Since you beat up the sharks, you're the talk of the town. Mayor Purple's waiting for you. Oh, nice. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, there's a cop here. Thanks so much for all your help. All right. In the next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. <laughs> all right, let's talk to the mayor himself. Hey, 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 I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. Nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, punched them out big time, kicked their butts, bit their heads off, spit their eyes, and made them wet their pants. And you forced them not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What? You want a key to the Torrent Entertainer Shack? For someone as great as you, giving the key could help keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please do not ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Ching ching, you know, he's like doing a little smile. Yeah, you're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. And there we go, we got a key to the shack. Very nice. Am I, am I full healed, actually? Do I do I have full healed? I don't even think I'm full healed, actually. I'm gonna eat uh, the key to the shack, yeah. Alright, you can check. We get the key to that, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna go eat some pasta, I'm gonna go talk to my mom, and I'll meet you guys at the, uh, the shack. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. All right, so we have giant step north of the top of the mountain. Danger, danger! Do not enter. Ooh, okay. So if you were to actually come here before, these guys would be blocking the way. You can't really do anything. But now there's uh, nobody here. So I heard there's a big footprint in the hilltop behind the shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. This shack was locked by someone from City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed was because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag! We can't even change our clothes. Our hotels are too expensive. The door is locked. All right, so ideally you would just want to, you know, use the key, and there you go. You cannot go inside. And yeah, it's just an abandoned shack, trashed everything, but there's a hole in the wall, so let's go forward. Now this man said, apparently there's a giant foot somewhere, but I don't see it. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go to. A, we're gonna go inside. And here we have a mysterious dungeon. So this is. The Giant Step Dungeon, and we have a new enemy here. This is the Rowdy Mouse. Now, these guys uh, are really strong. They do 13 damage to us, but, you know, we can do a lot of damage back. It's not that, you know, oh my god, a lot. But yeah, the Rowdy Mouse, it's, uh, it's a pretty interesting enemy. You know, it's not that crazy, but I love the description for this because it makes a reference uh, to the Monster Mash. 
on the Starman website, which is like, oh, like the Monster Mash, it has a high chance to give you the Graveyard Smash, which is, you know, a high, high chance of giving you crits. So we saw a lot of that right now. But yeah, uh, pretty strong enemy. And oh, here are some more enemies. I hope these are the slugs. Yes, these are attack slugs. So these guys are actually really good for farming. So if you really wanted to just farm for XP here, these guys give some pretty decent XP um, all at once. Because you will literally fight a bunch of them at the same time. It's always good to try to grind on these guys as much as you can. And we should be getting a decent amount of XP here. Like, uh, 81. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, you're going to be running into them oh, quite often in this dungeon. Luckily, this is one... And he's really slow, and I just beat him up pretty easily. Yeah, these guys don't have that much HP. <laughs> but they're they're really nice to fight. They're, they're really good to fight uh, for XP. Um, holy crap. Okay. I'm going to go in here. Now, sometimes... Ooh, a skip sandwich. Okay, so I will go over what that does in a bit. But I want to see if this still works. Yes, you can actually fight enemies uh, in and out here. And you have a black Antoid. So this is a, another new enemy here. Um, you might want to try to get rid of these guys as much as possible because they can actually call more help. Yes. Um, very self-explanatory. These guys don't have that much HP. I just don't do enough damage to get them out in one shot. And I, wow, I'm almost dead. Oh my goodness. Uh, 3 HP. Oh my gosh. Okay. I need a... <laughs> I need a heal. We got level 8! Oh my goodness! Alright, so we got our offense goes up by 5, defense by 3, speed up by 1, guts by 2, luck went up by 2, maximum HP by 2. Oh my goodness. Everything going up. And we get PSI Rockin' Alpha. This is going to be our main attack uh, for PSI at the moment. So, oh, I'm so excited to finally show this. Now, you could actually get... Uh, you know, PSI rocking right before you fight Frank, but you would just have to grind a little bit longer. I didn't want to do that because I don't want to like discourage any people, you know, anyone trying to play this game for the first time to absolutely grind for this game, and I don't recommend doing that. So, yeah, just play normal, just play at your own pace, play casually, do what you want. But here I'm going to show off PSI rocking. So, 80 damage, yeah, 96 damage. 83 damage, 78 damage, and it goes across the board. This is a very strong attack to have right now. And we got eight, a ton of XP here. Oh my goodness. I, I love this. This is this is so good. Yeah, so if you're fighting multiple enemies, you want to use this ASAP. Um, I'm just going to fight a little bit few more enemies here, and then we're going to go more into the dungeon. So I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to kill this thing. All right, but yeah, these are about like every single new enemy you can find here. Uh, I think I went over everybody here. Um, but yeah, should be fine. And more slugs! Yay, get to cut ahead. Alright, if we go to the left side here, you'll find a singular enemy. You can actually insta-kill the slugs by themselves now. And you can actually do this infinitely and just get a bunch of XP here just by going in and out of this room. If there's enemy spawns, obviously. This is a very neat trick I used to do just to grind easy levels. Just by touching this enemy here, and it just dies. Yeah, this is a very uh, cheap spot. And we get level 9 right away. Oh my goodness. This actually wasn't that far from a cut from where I did. So, yeah. We are we can literally get to level 10 here if we really wanted to. Um, I don't know. It's just easy XP. I mean, I could stay here for a while and do it. But yeah, if you have nothing to do, I mean, like I said, I said I wasn't going to be grinding super much, but like, come on, it's free XP. I might as well. And we got to level 10. Yeah. I literally did this for like another five minutes and we got healing alpha. So I'll show what that uh, what that does as soon as we get some PP as well. Because, yeah, we pretty much used all our PP in like some of the fights where we had to fight double enemies. And it's, yeah, it's kind of rough. Now, I do want to talk about this game a little bit. Um... I do understand this game kind of starts out a little bit slow. <laughs> I say that as I insta-kill an enemy. It starts out a little bit slow. I'm not going to deny the fact. Am I really getting... It's him! It's the... It's him! He's chasing me! Ah! I'm going to eat another hamburger. 
Yummers. All right. We go inside to this building. We're going to see two rowdy mouse here, so we're going to have to, like, fight them regardless. And these guys are guarding an item that I do want to grab, so hopefully we can take them out pretty easily here. They're not super strong. As you can see, they're still doing very little damage to us, but there is a chance that they crit pretty high because, you know, they're called rowdy mouses, but they have a large stat for guts, so want to try to get them out ASAP because they do a lot of damage. But there you go. Easy peasy. Let's see what item is being held here. And we got a present, and there's a cold remedy inside. So yeah, if you get sick, any sickness, status, you can put on the cold remedy and you'll be fine. Now, going deeper, deeper into the dungeon. There seems to be nothing else here, but we go outside. And you can see a magic butterfly. And you can see the outside too. Made nice relax. Now the fun thing about this is that there's actually a nice abundance of butterflies here. Yeah. Pay no attention to the big Quentin Tarantino reference in the front. But you can actually just infinitely hear you, uh, heal yourself in here. So you can actually go in and out a couple times. And, you know, believe me or not, it didn't really happen there. But you'll find magic butterflies spawning quite consistently here. And you can just heal yourself without having to go all the way back to your house or a hotel. And, yeah, we, we're almost full HP. I guess I can show off the skip sandwich in the next area. So, skip sandwich. Well, before we do anything, there's a hamburger. I will take that because we're going to need that. There's an Emmy here. I believe it's just a slug. Yes, it is. Easy peasy. And give me, ooh, give me a cookie. Nice. All right. So, the skip sandwich, I'm just going to eat it, just so I can, you know, heal myself. We recover 6 XP, but we also move a little bit faster. And I believe it's... <laughs> I was about to say, I believe it's based on steps, much more like a repel in Pokemon. Um, except, the thing about this item is that I wish this was just a built-in B button to run, because... Honestly, it's such a useless... It's really kind of useless, not going to lie. Um... I would much rather just have a natural B button for this game. This is one of my biggest complaints about this game is that, look, I already ran out from it. So, yeah, it's one of my biggest complaints about this game is that there's a lack of B button. You know, you're constantly walking everywhere. But, that, you know, that's the, you know, that's just, just the, the joy of it. You know, this is an adventure. You're going to be experiencing everything all at once. And, yeah, we are here at the end of the dungeon already. Yeah, it's a very short dungeon, even though it's the first one. But let's, uh... Let's talk. You finally got here. This is the first Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. So this is the Titanic Ant. He is the very first Your Sanctuary boss. And let's just get started by hitting him with PSI Rockin'. Yeah, this man is uh, quite of a menace, though. He has a lot of HP. He almost killed me! What?! I was not paying attention. I was literally looking. No, I'm dead! <gasps> I don't think I saved. I don't think I saved. Oh, no. Okay, as I was saying, you beat my ass the first time. All right, but... What you want to do against this guy, and I wasn't really paying attention, so it's kind of my fault. You can actually put these, you know, this dude to sleep. Uh, and it's a 50% chance of working. So we're going to try to gamble for it and hope that it works. Oh, okay. So he has defense down alpha. So our, we're going to do, uh, he's going to do more damage to us. Hopefully this works. Yes! Oh my goodness. Yes, we got that. Okay, so... He is asleep, but he wakes up instantly. What a great fucking turn. <laughs> Does nothing. Oh my goodness. That was, oh, this is really rough. Uh, smash attack. Oh no, am I dead again? Oh, 
He's faster than me too. I don't think I get that. <gasps> he put a shield. All right, I'm just gonna. F Ugh. I, I don't think I can even use PSI at the moment. Yeah, he's just putting on shields. I'm gonna have to just pray that I can heal through this because and he's gonna drain my PP. And we're just gonna bash our way through because wow, we are gonna be. Oh man, he's raising his defense. Ow! Please. You're almost dead, are you? Oh, 38! Yes! We defeated the Titanic Ant. First try, I swear. Oh my goodness, level 11, yes. Let's go get everything. Give me everything, Bubba. Let's go. We did it. Our first Your Sanctuary location defeated. Ness caught a glimpse of a cute, small puppy. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. This music, man. Every time I hear this song, it just makes me think of, like, peace. And just, you know, that... Knowing things are going to be okay in the end. That's what this game means to me. And I'm very grateful that you guys can be here for this journey. But let's check our soundstone real quick. We touch the soundstone to our forehead and gather our thoughts. Incredible, man. This game. This game has everything going on for it. I am very excited to see what's next. But yeah, we're gonna get out of this dungeon. And we're done with our first Your Sanctuary location. We have the first one done of many. And we can defeat these enemies no problem now. Da -da -da -da. Oh? Hey, you. The port says do not enter. Couldn't you read it? Uh... No? What a rebellious kid. Come to the Onet police station later. Okay. Anyways, guys, I think we're going to end our episode here. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and all that goodness. I'm going to go home before I go see the cops because, dang, I got arrested. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.